you hear me talk about this a lot, but I cannot stress it enough, okay? When you take the rack of that, it's what we call a separation angle. It's a separation angle. Always try to have your shoulders go farther than your hips. Look, it's what we call, there's a stretch. This is farther than that. It creates a stretch. So then at the end, when you come back the other way, it creates more energy, a torque, and it makes the racket go faster. It's the number one mistake that the shoulders don't go farther than the hips. They pretty much stay like that. We want the shoulders farther than the hips. The shoulders farther than the hips. You see it with a golf swing. You see it with a baseball swing. There's so many common threads. I cannot stress it enough. But everybody gets caught up in the wrong thing and they teach how they were taught or what they read or whatever. The game has changed a lot, but this is very important. Always try to have your students get uncomfortable, and that's why they don't do it. Get the shoulders farther than the hips. It's a separation angle. At the end of the stroke, you're gonna get a lot more power.